back out day two, camp two. We're knackered off that walk yesterday. How are you feeling? Aye. Pretty much cream cracker. Are you feeling it? Well, it. I'm, I'm feeling it more than it was. Aye. <laughs> it's killed her. It just absolutely drains you walking through all that bog and oh well if you watch the last video you'll see anyway we're out uh, we're just going to do a, uh, like a, a lockside camp because the weather forecast is for wild wind we were going to go up a hill but we're both knackered and the weather forecast isn't great for the morning i mean it's all right for tonight but for the morning it's not looking good so just can't be bothered really so we're going to go down on the, on the lock side about a mile in just an update on the van as well. Ran out the carpet for the blooming door. There's the, uh, there's the carpet and done. It's full of stuff at the minute. I've just been throwing things around. I've just got the roof to do. I've more or less done the floor. I've just got uh, um, I've got to drill the holes in the floor. I've put the vinyl floor over the plywood and then just slot it in fasten it down but yeah then do that by that panel that's easy enough I've got a panel here to do put the, put the carpet on there that's sorted I mean at a later date right I might do these doors carpet the doors because it's just stuck on there get a little table that drops down from there drops down and the leg comes down maybe get a bed goes in there and then a little unit on that side. That's all you need, really. Got the jackery, portable power. You know, may put some roof lights in. And just hook them up to a lead that comes down there and just plug it into the jackery. Yeah, we'll see. That's all stuff to think about. But yeah, that's how it's coming on anyway. Wasn't too bad carpet, isn't it, you know? Just approach it methodically. Anyway, it's enough about vans, there's another separate channel for that. So, we'll get going and we'll come back when we're down by the, the lock. This is it. This is where we're pitching. Rob's going on there. He's going to just have to channel that flat bit there. I'm going to have to go here. I've removed some of the jackies, jacky brambles, even though it's ferns, cottons. It's fern cottons, not jacky brambles, man. <laughs> what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I had a touch of the hazies there. Anyway, we walk about, it's about a mile that away. We, the path's only there, like, so it's not really a remote wild camp. But it's wild, it's off a campsite, and yeah, it's in Scotland. So it costs a wild camp. Every camp counts. This is, this is, a, this is a, what's this? Lock Truel? Truel, aye. Is it though? Aye. Doesn't look. Doesn't look that big. Oh, unless it goes right around there, does it? This is like the bottom end, isn't it? Ah, yeah. It is. Lock Truel then. On the Glen Truel estate. That's it, we'll just get set up now and then come back and see what's about. <sighs> well, we've set up home for the evening in a nice little area. Woodpeckers about somewhere. Don't never ever see them, do you? Woodpeckers, you just hear them. Ratatatat. So Rob's right on the edge, which is dangerous. <laughs> level picture to get well it's a level oh it's, it's definitely it's not the level best like, I'm gonna get looks alright like for those who don't know this is the Hilleberg Una which is a three season tent red label but four still, seasons is it though aye is it hell <laughs> I never use it in winter really and that's the uh, Hilleberg Sulu Solo black label. Can't to stop saying Sulu. It's solo, as in it's a solo tent. Solo. Why? Why can't people say it? <laughs> 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 I 
I'm only joking, I'm not like. But yeah, we're nice and peaceful here for now. But the weather is meant to turn wicked overnight. But it's still going to be sunny, it's just the wind, isn't it? This is meant to be the wind picking up. Right, so I've got my little kitchen there, that's where I'm going to camp cook. Rob's here on his little stool. I've brought my drone, I might set the drone away, see if I can lose it. Over there, over there somewhere. Just to disturb the peace. Will not be forever. Hopefully get some stars tonight. Oh, there's birds in the tree. I can't really make out what they are. I think they're just, um, they look like wagtails or thrushes. Everything's got a wag tail, hasn't it? And little tails wag like that. What is that? Anyway. Yeah, like I said, it's not the greatest pitch. Oh, God. Poked myself in the eye with a tree. But, you know, it's all right. I've got my head descent, so I'm, I'm lying, sort of. I'm not sliding out. If I was at the other end, I was, like, sliding downhill. So that wasn't any good. Hardy people would be in there. I'm not hardy. Right. Right, so enjoying it? Aye. Right. Got a got light little, nice little little setup here on me. Craig Charles on. Put a chain. I'm gonna have some burgers with uh, some nice brioche buns, cheese, and a nice burger sauce as well. Keep the sauce and then we've got a steak that we're gonna have. So, I've just got this view to look at here. It's not very good, is it, the view? <laughs> there you go. Cheeseburgers with burger sauce in a brioche bun. Yet again, result. Right, so we're just going to enjoy these burgers by the uh, lovely lock. Don't think there's any stars tonight because there's uh, a lot of a lot of cloud, like. But not to worry, we're enjoying it. We are. We need wind. That's the good thing. That's the that's the best thing. It is. <laughs> Decided to make use of the fire pit that was already here. I'm gonna mess with my hand like cut myself to shreds on them bloody ferns. Oh the fire's going out Rob, what can we do? What could we possibly do? The idea. Why you are like a fire starter. 
it's already started to be fair. Looks good. <laughs> I was worried about my eyes like. Yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, close them. <laughs> <laughs> Man. When you're gathering ferns to start a fire, wear gloves, I would say. Look at him, man, he is. He's like a little fire starter. You're like an insect prodigy. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Me neither. I'm going to have to go and get cleaned Christ up. Is st Christ, is bleeding quite badly. Uh, is that just off the ferns? Uh, aye, that's, that's alright, that. That's like I say. It, that's what got, got, it was the ferns that got me. On the back of your hand, it's not so bad, but on your palm, you get blood on everything. But I thought, how? I, I, what, what was on the ferns that could cut you? Just the brambles, the sharp edges of them. Ah, oh, sharp. Well, the owl started now. Got me right. All right, right, well, I'm going to go and get uh, clean. Oh, yeah. I've got a first aid kit. Right? Here we are then. We're enjoying the night. It's like 11 o'clock, you know. Is it? Oh. Ten past, eh? Mm -hmm. The stars are out. All right, put the night night camera out. So glorious. What we need to know, right, is how has your trip been? Well, two days, wild. It's it's, it's been a good trip. A really good it? trip. But not without its faults. Oh. As every trip has got its faults. And does that involve bogs? Bogs, bogs, climbs, um, you name it. Um, Falling down. Lack of pints, lack of pubs. Brambles. What can you do? But having said that, yeah. Galloway is just a beautiful place and um, Christ, it just, it's a nice place and it's very remote. Is it not just like a glorified... Don't come here, don't come here. <laughs> it's just uh, so remote. Is it, it's brilliant. Is it not just a glorified garden centre? Um, Dobby's. Nah. Dobby's world. It, it's a glorified garden centre. Um, <laughs> without the people. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just felt... Oh, just what, felt what's... awkwardly there. Oh. I know, I missed the step. Still filming. There's like a... Um, there's like a... A step and I missed oh, it. Oh, me. Anyway, we have had a good night, Link. It's been a good night. We've got the worst pictures on earth over there. But, you know. I think there's been worse, to be fair. Ah, yeah, I think there has, actually. We've got the Max Lantern. Old Max there. Smoking away. And for some reason, we've also got a fire going. And what's left of it fyi this was already here this fire pit and we think right so therefore we're right we think the fire pit if there's a fire pit we should you should use just it reuse it yeah just use it gonna, there's no other detriment is there to the mm -hmm. but don't, environment or don't make a new fire pit if there's a fire pit there right don't make a fire pit next to it What's if you want to make a fire pit, just dig a hole, dig a hole, use it, and then put some put, rocks put around the top it. Back. Put the rocks around it. Have it in a, a spot away from grassland because this is like tinder. This grass um, on the beach last night. That grass, God, if that had went up, would have been on the news. It that did like, go up. Did go up. That would have been on the news if that had gone up. So yeah, so this is a fire pit, right? I would say it's okay to use it because let's face it, it's already been done. It wasn't you that did it, but don't make another fire pit like there. People do that, don't they? There's like a fire pit here, so they'll make one there. No. And then the next person will make one there. I mean, that's ridiculous. Use the reuse original it. one. Man. Yeah, reuse it. Ideally, don't have one, but you know. We do like fires though. I know, it's a, it's a nice... It's fires warm. are nice, everybody likes fires. I mean, everybody. look at him, he's took his coat off, it's warmed him up. Yeah, yeah, everybody, everybody likes fires. But you've got to be sensible about it. It's all part of the outdoors, really. Yeah. And we'll come, we'll come up in the morning and we'll get rid of all this, like... We'll make sure it's out. We'll piss on it. <laughs> <laughs> right, pull it out, won't it? Alright. We'll make sure... You've got to dig down underneath and make sure it's all cold and 
it's out just be responsible be responsible be sensible everybody's happy while Campton won't get banned so that's okay. it that's about it really before we go to bed oh, we're not putting the music on for copyright reasons oh we're absolutely knackered aren't we we are absolutely Ugh. knackered and it's just so peaceful out here so that's Good, it. Man. Good. Turn, turn this nice camera place. off now that was that was like four minutes hold on i can't find the button oh man man ah. morning comes out here now nothing zero zip dolce nothing zero zip it's a cockerel cockadoodle doing over there they must have forgot to put the cocks forward <laughs> Uh, so, good night last night, round the fire, dancing naked, didn't film that bit, you don't want to see that, nobody needs to see that, uh, slept well, it's now, it's about, wait it's quarter to nine, blimey, nobody just got up, I was up early but went back to Kip, my hand, Tiny little cut like that. All that blood. Nightmare. Oh, still tired. Nice view to wake up to though. Rob's over there, he's up, he's up and about. And I'm just about to stick the cat on. And have a nice cup of tea. Nice cup of Earl Grey. So, that's about it, Mike. We'll see what happens. We'll come back when we're tidied up and cleared away. So here we were. Rob was there. I was just there. We've tidied all the mess. Everything's gathered. We tidied the fire pit up, that's all right, you'd never tell there was a fire there last night. Did you enjoy that Rob? Great calm, pie. Aye. Lovely. Nice new location in that. What a good do. Just something to relax the mind Aye. after the shenanigans of the night before. Right, we're contemplating going for a walk around the lock, but I'm just standing here and my knee's really sore like. So I'll have to sh shake that off, hopefully. All right. So that's it for this adventure. Two nights wild. We're kind of kipping the van tonight. Well, Rob's in his car, I'm in the van. Because the weather's meant to be nasty and uh, yeah, we just, we just want a bit of uh, relaxing time. Not have to struggle against the elements and all that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this little adventure, this weekend adventure, and we'll see you on the next one, like Shakira said. <laughs>